Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome back to Starbase. And behind me is the fully completed Loxodonta. But unfortunately there has been issues and I will discuss them with you right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's begin over here. I really wanted to complete this line so that there is, you know, let's go ahead and do this. Wanted to hide this line and everything around it. Um, but it kind of feels like it's part of the aesthetic, you know? It feels like it's part of that. Um, the These holes on the sides, I decided to keep them. It makes for easy access. Uh, the inside has not been painted, though. I did go ahead and add glass. Hey. Here at the front, we can see. There's some glass uh, over here as well, and over here as well. So I did add some glass. I have this front part. I added actually bigger decorative pl plates. I think yeah, that's better. Decorative plates, and I went down here and I completed the bottom part as well, and I painted it black with this little skirt outline. This is this thing is gigantic. I gotta admit this thing's big, really big. All right, now let's go in and push the button. Because we have doors, yay! We have doors, which is pretty awesome. And if we go over here, over here, same thing. Got doors. I wanted to install elevators that goes all the way upwards, but I think elevators are bugged or something. They don't really work on ships. I'm not sure, but anyways, uh, I decided against that. So yeah. Now, for the big reveal, this is the inside. This thing is big. I can't believe this is what I made. Um, it is gigantic. And it is a proper, proper ship. I gotta admit, it. I still can't believe how big it is. <laughs> um, okay, so we have a cargo frame. Cargo lock. Or no, it's not really a cargo lock. But um, it's a frame where you put things in. Right? Um, let's say, for instance, you add fuel cells and things. You just shove them in here, and then you go to a control panel like this one, and you just say lock. Uh, the graphic doesn't show right now, but it is locked. I can't go in. You know, let me show you. Eh. Eh. Can't go in there. So, yeah, but it's got like a extremely bluish haze around it. And, uh, yeah, another cool thing I've added was this button which opens up this so you can load things oh there we go okay it's actually not blue it's more pink turquoise i don't know <laughs> so you can shove things in the back over here which i think is pretty pretty cool you know uh didn't get to plating down here i will show you guys in a second like why but yeah so we have this lowering area and if we strip out everything in here um and we add a couple of chairs and whatnot for people to sit in. We can have as a maybe a passenger sh uh, ship or a combat ship. You know, load a ton of endos in here. And, you know, just go ham. Like go to an outpost or uh, somebody's station if you're going to attack it. Then we just have this. I just have to make sure to plate this. Otherwise, like, um, you, I think you get stuck over there. So you'd like, be like, charge and just like trip over the thing. Huh. Anyway, so yeah, that is that. And then let's go ahead and close this. Because this is how you get to the engine room from the bottom. Over here. Alright, so that, I did go ahead and not bolt that down. Lol. But that is a resource bridge. And over there is also a resource... Why is it this color? Why is that one broken? Why is this one like a color like this? What have I done? Uh... Right, so you can go. There we go. Bye bye. So yeah, I did add two resource bridges back here, and those crates over there are the maximum amount of crates I can actually fit into the ship. I will explain everything in a second. Um, we still have this giant area up here where I wanted to add more f resources, basically different like fuel cells, for instance. Um, coolant cells 
and more maybe more propellant or something you know those kind of things tools maybe that would have been cool and obviously back there is the uh engines and i did go ahead and rip out the plasma thruster here at the back um to increase the voxel limit and it still goes it still goes we will fly out soon and then you guys can witness the glory of this thing and yeah we have this elevator over here i've used many times it goes to the cockpit and then you can just fall back down get to the engine room quick and easy there we go added these railings because the actual decorative railings they don't really work well unless you really spend time bolting them in on your own and i decided against that like no no thank you i'm good and yeah so this like i said this hasn't been painted or anything in the inside and uh yeah let's go for a test flight get in the chair still goes still good i like it uh i did tone down the controls so it acts as a big ship i wanted to add roll and yes i do know how to add roll it's uh more of a question of the shape of the ship um that the flight computer needs to calculate but i was about to i wanted to finish the plating and if there were voxel limits left then i would have added process for rolling and those things because it would have been nice actually that i think about it to have rolling on this ship but still it is it's a good ship it it flies it's it's sturdy i guess it's not very fast but it's good so yeah let's go ahead and turn this down i just want to turn it this way and yeah this is it in its full color got some radiators there at the back i painted the black i got this black stripes at the top and in, in this middle um the black part back here and that is where i ran out of plates so i did the bottom side so i can we can close down and have a floor there but ran out of plates i did try to end this we will get an end point for this um it came out as a big cross so it's not the best i would say but it's good so uh Plasma thruster would have sat there with an extra extension, so it would have been up until here-ish. And yeah, that unfortunately was not a an option. And that plasma thruster would sat would have sat there, like through the whole place there. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You know, that's uh, the whole thing about this ship. I mean, it does look gorgeous. It looks fantastic wonder can i press what was it f5 no it was a3 <laughs> oh i think it was a3 to take a screenshot but ah that's fine um uh, oh man that looks pretty i like that i love nebula anything spacey with nebula in it it automatically gets a thumbs up from me all right so um let me quickly show you guys the building budget um yeah <laughs> i had to remove the plasma thruster to get more voxels that was still not enough we couldn't i couldn't finish the plating um for, for this whole section i had to cut this piece in here uh also while we're here you you oh, you don't want to get bolted well then let's uh oh you you don't like i'm just gonna do that that's probably more than enough well, that's a bit overkill but hey I want it to fall off but anyways um this thing is not gonna fly i'm not gonna purchase it to fly around with it i mean it would have been really really cool to do that but i don't think it's a viable option uh since it doesn't really do anything for us um cargo transportation is not a thing in this game there's no need for it um unless like i know there's this faction called the sos and they go and help people who get stranded in asteroid fields or battle or something um this ship would be good to use because if we can um get rid of these boxes these ore crates and embiggen this uh well what are they, what, are, what is it called actually uh was it devices cargo uh cargo lock frames yeah so it's a cargo lock basically um yeah so we we could have added like fuel cells and different things in there to go and repair a ship you know um have a massive amount so that we have enough things um well i don't mean we i'm not part of the faction it's just i, I wouldn't mind you know 
lending them the ship to go and do the thing if they wanted to. Um, but yeah, otherwise, cargo transportation is not a, th a viable thing to do in the game yet. Uh, I'm sure, pretty sure, like maybe once people start constructing their own space stations and things, they would they would want materials, and then you can just like load up this thing and then take it to the station, and they pay you. Other thing um, is, I'm hoping they increase the voxel limits for the ship or ships. You know, in big in this building area, so that this uh, we can actually. I would keep it as is, all right? I was thinking of building a bigger one if it was... If there was a... Um, increase in ship sizes, but I don't think that's going to happen at all. Um, oh, I'm not going to do it. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to rip out this cargo frame in here and just load it up with these ore crates and get it back to what it was originally intended for, was basically um, ore hauling basically that i think that is was the whole idea for the ship um even maybe you know maybe two variants one with the cargo lock frame but this whole area is filled in with it and the other one would be um just crates or crates and to house the three by three crates basically that's what i mean that was the whole point of the ship um but i think the problem what happened with this ship is it's too big and didn't think of really how size was going to impact everything um it is it is a great ship i i'm i'm happy i made it but you're going to keep it in the bookmarks because there is another um ship i want to start working on with you guys uh, it's called the inquisitor it's going to be like a battleship sort of thing it's not a dreadnought it's, it's a mini version of a dreadnought um i just finished with the what do you call it, the weapons for it yeah, I just finished up uh, the the coding for a its main weapons, and uh, yeah, I want to get on that work with you guys. And that is a ship I, I'm going to purchase because I want to use it for convoy protection, ash of mining protection, um, events, those sort of things. That's kind of what I want to do with that ship. So this one, like I said, we're gonna bookmark this. We're gonna put it on the back burner. Uh, wait for the voxel increase if they're gonna do that. If they do, then we will come back to this ship and we will um you know start building this up to its uh glory you know uh it's sad to think this thing won't really take flight anytime soon but hey at least we can um fly around with it you know uh, in here in the testing area and i'm i'm more than happy to do that you can go now thank you but yeah I think uh, it's it's a good ship. I'm I'm happy, and I'm glad you guys were so supportive and giving the great feedback on how everything works. I feel like the next ship we're gonna do is gonna be a, a really epic one. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna try to make it iconic as possible. But yeah, so I think that is it for the Loxodonta. Is she still moving? Oh, we are. No, it's it's still moving. Oh man, it would have. It, it looks so good. It looks really good. Um, it sort of looks like a, a machete. Or not a machete, a, a cleaver. Like there's the handle, there's the blade. <laughs> Should have called a cleaver. But anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finish off with this. But there are two more projects. One or two more projects I wanna get going. The one will be that battleship. The other one will be a mining ship, or maybe a proper. Well, maybe a proper hauling miner ship. Um, We'll see what, how that will go. But anyways, people, thank you so much for supporting the Loxodonta. We will return to her one day um, and, you know, see if we can make any changes or make a different version of it. Right now, we are going to focus on a new project called the Inquisitor, which will be our battleship, which we will use. And hopefully, maybe when the game gets released, I will be able to build that ship and... You know, you guys can help me man it. Who knows? But anyways, people, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the feedback and everything. We'll be back next time with the Inquisitor. Uh, just give me a day or two to get things going. Get some recording and whatnot. And then we shall kick off the, a, a new series with the Inquisitor. And yeah, thank you so much. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.